Let us now take a sutram from the Angasya Adhikaraha, which as we know runs from the sutram 641 Angasya all the way down to the end of the 7th chapter of the Ashtadhyayi. Sutram here is 72117. This sutram prescribes an operation when certain Tadhitaha affixes follow. Now why are we jumping to the Angasya Adhikaraha and taking the Angakaryam when a certain Tadhitaha affix follows? follows right now we are studying compounds so why do we need this sutram right now the reason is that we are soon going to be studying the sutram 2151 which among other things allows compounding in the context where the sense of a taditaha affix is to be expressed in that time we will derive the form shan maturaha which is shannam matrana Apatyam Shan Maturaha having six mothers. This is an epithet of Kartikeya because he had six Kritikas as his six mothers. This form Shan Maturaha is derived by adding Sadhitaha affix an to the compound Shan Matra declined in the sixth case. And in the final step of the derivation, we have to substitute the Vridhi letter A, the long A. Ah, in place of the short vowel a, uh, which is the first vowel in Shanmatri. So that is why we are taking up the Sutram 72117, so that we don't have to sidetrack when we study the Sutram 2151. Okay, let us now see what the Vritti of the Sutram 72117 says. It says, Niti Niti Cha Tadhiteshu Acham Adehe Achaha Vridhi Sya, which means that the first vowel among the vowels of a angam which is followed by a Tadhitaha affix, which is either Nyit, which means it has a letter Ny as a it, the fifth letter of the Chavargaha, or a Nit, it has a letter Ny as a it, the fifth letter of the then that first vowel takes the vridhi substitute. Now we know the adhikara of the jitaha which runs from 4176 all the way to the end of the fifth chapter of the Ashtadhyayi. So any affix which is prescribed in that adhikara of the jitaha has the tadhita sanya. And we also know what Vridhi means, the very first sutra of the Ashtadhyayi, vridhi radhi cha, the letters a, I, and Au have the Vridhi Sanya. The note here says that in the word Acham, used in the Sutram 72117, the sixth case affix is in the sense of Nirdharane. Recall the Sutram 2341 Yatascha Nirdharanam, which tells us that a sixth case affix or a seventh case affix is used following a Pratipadikam, which denotes a group or whole from which an element or part is to be singled out based on a genus or quality or action or proper name. Here we are singling out one vowel from the set of vowels which are in the angam. That one vowel is being singled out since it has the quality of being the first among that group of vowels. So that is the Nirdharanam. So the sixth case affix in Acham is prescribed by the Sutram 2341 Yatascha Nirdharanam. That is why we say among the vowels, that is Acham. Now as you already discussed, we are soon going to be seeing the example Shan Maturaha, at which time we will have a chance to apply this Sutram 7211. 